हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द कोर्स डिजाइन ऑफ सोलर पावर प्लांट इन द पीवीसी सॉफ्टवेयर इन दिस कोर्स विल गोइंग टू बी टॉक अबाउट व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स आर देयर फॉर डिजाइनिंग द सोलर पावर प्लांट इनटू द पीवीसी सॉफ्टवेयर व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट सिमुलेशन पैरामीटर व्हिच आर बीन रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एंटरिंग इनटू द पीवीसी सॉफ्टवेयर एंड डाउनलोडिंग द रिपोर्ट फ्रॉम द पीवीसी सॉफ्टवेयर आई एम योर सोलर कोच प्रोफेसर किरण आर बिल्दार आई एम अ ट्रेनर एंड रूफटॉप सोलर सिस्टम कंसल्टेंट and also professor of renewable energy in mumbai university india so in this course the various aspects of the pvc software will going to be talk about in more in detail out of it some of the important point will going to be see is the design of upgrid stand alone solar system in the pvc software so in this point we will going to be take a case study for designing the battery operated upgrid kind of an solar system for the residential scale consumer so here we'll going to be download the report for the battery operated stand alone type of the solar system so what are the different points has been involved in the entering the simulation this more in detail we'll going to be talk in the first point in the second point we'll going to be talk about the design of on grid commercial scale type of an solar system so at a high level in the commercial scale type of an project how we can develop the parameter into the simulation parameters and according to that we'll going to be work into the pvc software so inside this particular two case studies we'll going to be see some of the important parameters like how to import the site location that is a meteo file into the pvc software we know that for doing the proper amount of the energy yield simulation we required the global horizontal irradiation and this will going to be download by using the meteo norm file or the nasa database so according to that we'll see how exactly we'll going to be do this parameter for importing the site location and the meteo file similarly we'll going to be see how we can set up the orientation for the panel and the array which involving the tilt angle setting and the azimuth angle setting for the particular solar array the third parameter we'll going to be see is how we can define the user needs as per the user demand so how many number of the equipment the user are using and according to the distribution of the time in the throughout the span of this particular day then how we can define the user need as per the user requirement and according to that we'll going to be design the battery bank and the battery system in the pvc software so we'll see the some important parameter like how we can set the particular battery bank what are the different formulas are there for setting the battery bank calculation and according to that we'll going to be work out on this particular parameter the next point we'll going to be talk about is pv power calculation and the string selection so whenever we design any solar power plant the very first parameter which comes in our mind is how we can design the solar array how many number of panels are been required and how we can do the connection into the series and parallel combination so in a pvc software by taking some of a important uh, let's say any company solar panel and according to that the voltage and the current balancing and ultimately the formula what we are utilizing according to that we can easily calculate how many number of panels are required and how we can do the connection for this particular solar strings and the solar array so this point specifically will going to be covered into this particular course next point will going to be see the backup generator selection if any generator will be been available into the system then how will going to be account into the pvc software for the further parametric selection next will going to be see how we can define the detail losses into the pvc system because whenever we see any solar power plant it is always having some kind of an losses like the thermal parameter ohmic losses lid mismatch losses soiling losses so how we can account this particular losses and according to that the generation what it is been affected by this consideration of the losses how will going to be cover this particular parameter so this will going to be focused on this particular course next is the defining the horizon and the sun path chart diagram so here we'll see how we can develop the sun path chart diagram and do the shading analysis throughout the year of this particular span the next point we'll going to be talk is the developing the 3d model into the pvc software like the near shading parameter we are developing into the pvc we are going to be develop the number of panel and the array into the pvc software and whatever the different shadow obstacles are available as per the site location so that will going to be prepare into the pvc 
and according to that we'll do the shading analysis and the placement of the solar panel over this particular rooftop area thereafter we'll going to be talk about the economic evaluation of the solar power plant so here we'll going to be see what are the different cost parameter are involved whenever we are developing the solar power plant how we can calculate the payback period internal rate of return equity turn around the project and the cash flow around this particular project so this parameter specifically will going to be entered after the simulation parameter has been over for doing this economic evaluation and the last will going to be download the report in the pvc software report is consisting of the all parameter what we have done while entering the simulation their energy yield estimation the ghi values and every string selection and the battery selection whatever we have done it so we'll going to be read this particular report so whenever we present the report in front of the client then how will going to be present the report so that parameter also will going to be cover in this particular course so once again professor kiran bildar i'll going to be welcome you in the course thank you